and five block shots a game. As he continues to refine an already good shooting touch for a big man, he undoubtedly will be one of the nation's most sought after by the time he's a senior. Gerard Mustaf is this week's selection as Fast Break's finest. As you look at the, the drastic difference in size here between Gerard and myself, one question I have to ask you. 6'5 is an eighth grader, 6'7, 6'8 is a ninth grader, and now 6'9 is a tenth grader. Is it difficult to maintain your agility with your growing so fast like that? No, mainly jumping rope over the summertime and doing running sprints helps out a lot. Now, one of the things I'm noticing at the professional level, and even the college level, a number of tall guys are starting to handle the basketball. Magic Johnson at 6'9". Do you feel the need to really work on your ball handling so as to be a real threat that way, too? Yes, Magic Johnson gives a lot of incentive to work to be a ball handler and to be a maybe a guard one day in college. No kidding, even at 6'9", huh? Yes. <laughs> you know, Proposition 48 is going to be a fact of life by the time you get ready to graduate as well. How do you find time to maintain a healthy balance between athletics and your studies? Well, I have a schedule. I study two hours a night on weekdays and three hours on the weekend. Does that fire you up and make you want to play basketball even more so when you get done studying? Well, I play basketball first, then I go home and study. No question about it. So that fires you up to study then, huh? Yes. Well, all right, Gerard Mustaf, thanks a lot for being on our show, and congratulations for being selected. Thank As you As Breaks Finest, we've got this nice trophy to present to you. It's a nice sneakers and a warm-up outfit from Puma. All right, back to you. Gerard, congratulations, and please keep it rolling. I think Gerard, like all great players, know that games are won on defense, and when we come back, we're going to be taking a look at defensive strategies. <laughs> 